This key concept short video covers carbon dioxide enrichment experiments, a subtopic in the IB biology course. Carbon dioxide enrichment experiments are used to predict future rates of photosynthesis and plant growth. FACE, free air carbon dioxide enrichment experiments involve releasing controlled amounts of carbon dioxide, CO2, into the air around plants in open field settings to simulate future atmospheric CO2 levels. Large open air rings or arrays of pipes release CO2 at specific concentrations, typically elevated to levels expected in future climate scenarios. Sensors and valves are used to monitor and regulate the CO2 concentration around the plant. A wind vane helps to ensure that the CO2 enrichment is evenly distributed in the right direction, as wind patterns can affect how gases are dispersed in the open field. By knowing wind direction, researchers can adjust the CO2 release systems to achieve a uniform exposure for plants. The plants grow naturally in their environment, experiencing typical weather, soil conditions, humidity, species diversity, and interactions with others, while researchers measure the effects of increased CO2 on plant growth, water use, and other factors. Control plots are included with air rather than increased levels of CO2. This method allows for long-term studies of plant responses in real-world conditions without the need for artificial chambers or enclosures. FACE experiments provide valuable insights into how ecosystems might respond to rising CO2 levels in the future. The FACE experiments are being conducted with agricultural crops as well as in forested areas. To best understand FACE experimentation, it is helpful to compare to enclosed chamber experiments. In these types of experiments, plants are grown within a contained space, such as a greenhouse, where variables can be precisely controlled to isolate the effects of specific factors, such as CO2 levels, light, and water. In growth chambers, the air can be enriched with CO2 to simulate future atmospheric conditions, and researchers can study how plants respond to changes in CO2 concentrations. These experiments are valuable for short-term studies and for examining how individual plants or small groups of plants can react to changes in CO2 levels. However, they are less realistic than open-air face experiments, since they do not fully replicate the complexities and interactions of natural ecosystems. For example, larger trees, representative of older growth forests, cannot be used. As CO2 levels increase, Trees may absorb more carbon and store it in their biomass, which is critical for understanding how forests might contribute to or mitigate climate change. Growth chambers are typically not large enough to replicate the scale of carbon storage.